HGs, Christmas Captives. I'm H.G. Tudor. Are your chestnuts roasting on an open fire? No, I'm not talking about Prince Harry and whether his chestnuts are being roasted on an open fire by his handler. But rather, of course, Christmas is around the corner. And this presents for you, dear viewers, an opportunity to test your abilities. You as loyal and faithful Tudorites, have listened well to my work. But now, more accurately, I greet you as ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Yes. It is time for you all, in this supersized jury, to discharge your civic duty by standing to judge the status of an array of individuals who currently languish in the dungeon in Tudor Towers. Your heroically glorious narrator has been busy in the first half of December. He has, using his very special and esoteric skill set, purloined a number of Christmas characters who are now held captive in the numerous cells deep in the bowels of Tudor Towers. Their wails of anguish and forlorn plans for freedom drowned out by speakers playing Celine Dion over and over again. Torture, indeed. Yes, the Ultra has captured and imprisoned a series of characters associated with the season of joy and goodwill which calls into question the very fate of Christmas. Yet, all is not lost, because you get to decide what they are, and thus play a hand in determining their fate. You will be presented with a range of information about each captive to enable you to then argue a case with your fellow Tudorite jurors to ascertain whether each character is a narcissist, narcissistic, normal, or an empath. Thereafter, in the community section of my channel, there will be a poll which will allow you all to cast a vote and, before that, enable you to seek to persuade others to vote in a particular way through the comments that you place beneath the video. Accordingly, at the end of the process, Christmas Day, the voting process will end and a determination is made. Will the relevant captive be found to be a nasty narc or evangelical empath, a needy narcissistic type or a nose-to-the-ground normal? You decide. Thereafter, His Excellency Lord Chief Ultra Justice on High Most Magnificent, and that's my abridged title, H.G. Tudor, will pronounce sentence for each character based on the finding attributed to them by you all. Thus, stand by to argue with passion, but always ensure that you go to the logic, look to the evidence as I have taught you, and seek to move the hearts and minds of your fellow jurors with your argument. The wretches that languish in the dungeons, their fates lie in your hands. Let us now bring up from the cells in the ultra-high court of Tudor our first captive. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I give you Jack Frost, and below a summary of information about this individual for the purposes of commencing your deliberations. Summary of information appertaining to Frost Jack Overland. 1. Nips at your nose. 2 and your fingers and your toes. 3. Causes problems for gardeners and farmers by either turning up too early or too late and wreaking havoc with plants and crops. 
covers everything in sparkling white, making it look most pretty. Number five, entertains children by allowing them to run along the ice and slide. Number six, injures adults by causing them to fall over whilst walking to work. Number seven, uses aliases of Old Man Winter, Grandfather Frost, Frost Man, Frost Woman, and Mrs. Holler. Eight, gratefully supported by the double glazing industry. Number nine, freezes shadows, causing them to become their own living entities. Ten, known to cause problems for fairies by stealing important objects. Number eleven, reported as being kind to children. Twelve, playful, energetic, and labelled mischievous. Thirteen, attracts the eye of d Dame Nature, usually around springtime. Fourteen, talented artists going through an extensive fern on the window period. Fifteen, reputed to be responsible for maintaining kind conditions for reindeer. Number sixteen, throws out the malaria which spread during the American Civil War. Seventeen, disliked by grave diggers. Eighteen, sponsored by the undersoil heating industry. Number 19. Welcomed at Christmas when the snow has failed to make an appearance. Number 20. Second persona of the magician Arcana and has ice break and freeze boost skills. 21. Provides makeshift freezer facilities for students. Therein lies the summary of information appertaining to Jack Frost. Now it is for you to put forward your arguments. Do you believe him to be a narcissist? Perhaps you see him as narcissistic, perhaps indeed normal or empath. Put forward your arguments in the comments section using the appropriate evidence in the expectation of looking to persuade other people who will be moved to eventually vote advance the arguments that you have, utilising the evidence, utilising logic, as I have taught you through my many, many videos. And then, once having done so, look out for the poll that will appear to enable you to cast your vote. You can keep an eye on that, whilst adding to your observations and comments. And in due course, the outcome of the vote will be arrived at, and suitable sentencing following dependent upon what you, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, have all decided. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.